carbs will lead to blood sugar spikes avoid carbs well this is total nonsense because in my video today i am sharing with you my blood test results a1c levels after 13 years on a high carbohydrate diet where we eat tons of fruit in our diet every single day loads of carbs carbs every single day from hungry to satiated tons of fruit so let's see what happened to my blood sugar levels. Hi, it's Paul and Yulia Tarp, the nutritionist and lifestyle coaches of Awesome Healthy. Helping you create healthy hormones, a healthy body, and the life of your dreams naturally. If you're brand new to our channel, hit subscribe. We've been pushing those videos for over 10 years and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. All right, so if you've got blood sugar imbalances, no doubt you've heard a lot about carbs, a lot of bad things about carbs. And what's surprising is that we help a lot of our clients with hormonal issues. So with hormonal and weight issues, gut issues, and a lot of people with hormonal imbalances will, will also have imbalances with their blood sugar levels. And if you've got imbalances with your blood sugar levels, pretty much everywhere you look will say that you've got to cut them out carbs are bad for you and that you've got to cut those carbs out you've got to eat very little fruit low glycemic fruit and dare you eat that one banana well let us tell you that this is nonsense although it could be true if you are eating a high fat diet so let us dive into it in this video and of course i will also be sharing my blood test results with you so you can see what actually happened to my blood sugar levels after 13 years of eating a lot of carbs when i say eating a lot of carbs here is a typical example of my breakfast meal 10 persimmons just mono fruit loads of fruit loads of <laughs> sugar here is a typical example of paul's meal a banana meal with how many bananas kilo over a kilo of bananas over a kilo of bananas over a kilo of bananas a lot of sugar right and we have been eating that way for the last 13 years. So fruit for breakfast, loads of fruit for lunch, and sometimes more fruit before our dinner. All right, so first and foremost, let's talk about carbs, fruit, and blood sugar levels. Paul, what do you know about it and why it does not increase blood sugar levels, although it can in some cases if people are eating a high-fat diet? Yes. So let's talk about it. Okay, so the general understanding amongst many people is that if you eat carbs, you'll gain weight, it's lots of sugar, and over time you might get pre-diabetes and even type 2 diabetes. So it's not really a healthy thing to do. So you've got to try and get off those carbs as much as you can, get away from that sugar. And it's the sugar, it's the carbs that is causing your blood yeah, sugar Yeah, and levels. it's the carbs, of course, because it's sugar, isn't it? So it goes into your bloodstream, and it causes your blood sugar levels to go up. So it's got to be the sugar, yeah? Well, no, actually, <laughs> we know better now. Science knows better. And we found that when you eat a diet that's got lots of sugar in it, lots of carbs, mm -hmm. we've also got a lot of fat. That causes a problem. It causes dysfunction in your body, in your cells. So basically, there's too much fat in your diet, gets into your body's cells, and then it stops the blood sugar being delivered to those cells, which, of course, is going to be the carbohydrates that you eat. So then your blood sugar levels go up over time. People become type 2 diabetic, pre-type type 2 diabetic. People say these, it's because of carbohydrates. People say it's because of carbohydrates. So you because of fat. lower your carbohydrates. And they say, oh, well, my blood sugar levels are getting better. I've lowered my carbohydrate intake. I'm eating like a high fat diet now with hardly any carbs. Well, yes, of course they will because you're not eating carbs. But what you want to do is for that really healthy option and what your body's designed for. A long term sustainable option exactly, as well that can help you build your health for the exactly, long term. Exactly, is to lower your fat intake. And then what that does, it allows that extra fat, excess fat to come out of your cells. And then that carbohydrate, though, the glucose, all that lovely sugar that you get from hopefully, hopefully whole plant foods is going to go into those cells unhindered. And then your blood sugar levels come down. And over the years, we've coached hundreds of clients, a lot of that had blood sugar imbalances on this lifestyle plan. So literally eating all the carbs they care for, lowering their fat percentage, building their diet and their nutrition the right way. Every single client, 100% results have walked away diabetes free, blood sugar levels normal. And in terms of the time frame, so you understand how far you can be from living a healthy life with healthy blood sugar levels and healthier hormones and a body that is no longer inflamed and healthy blood markers of uh, you know kidney disease and liver and so forth. So with pre-diabetes with our clients, usually within one week to a couple of weeks, 
they their blood sugar levels are totally normal yeah so being pre-diabetic going to the doctor and saying okay well your next stage is diabetes and next get stages to go on medication within a week to two weeks normal and for people who have been long-term type 2 diabetics like judy for example she came to us with type 2 diabetes she's been on medication for decades her blood sugar levels have never been uh, that stable within six weeks her blood sugar levels were normal and she started obviously she rebuilt her, her health she also lost 30 pounds in 90 days and just totally different skin and energy levels and beautiful transformation and look at how fat we are after 13 years on the high carbohydrate diet yes look how fat we are 13 years on a high carbohydrate diet so that's me in my early 40s that's paul who's turning 50 very soon yes look how <laughs> i mean that's amazing yeah we look slim trim we feel great. We, we eat all fit. carbs. We exercise. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, so let me share my blood sugar level results after 13 years on the high carbohydrate, loads of fruit, loads of sugar diet, and that is A1C. And what is A1C for? So A1C is a more accurate way of measuring your blood sugar levels over a period, period of, time, of time compared yeah. to something which they used to use, which is you know, blood yeah. uh, fasting glucose level, which was uh, just taking your blood at a certain period of time and saying what the blood level is then whereas the a1c is much more accurate it's taken over a longer period of time okay let's have a look Ta-da! absolutely normal bang on in the middle yes eating loads of carbs every single day never ever restricting my carbohydrates high carbohydrate low fat plant foods diet loads of fruits 13 years how can it be perfect possible? blood sugar how? levels how can it be possible how can it be possible how? well it can because that's what you are supposed to eat so if you are doubting whether or not you can thrive on it and whether or not it's going to raise your blood sugar levels well here is my personal example and we've also shared the examples of our clients who have been able to reverse their type 2 diabetes pre-diabetes and very quickly as well and i can tell you that my dad died from type 2 diabetes so it is in my family and if you've got pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes it is not going to get better by itself you have to take action you have to start doing things in a very different way because unfortunately if you've got blood sugar imbalances your pre-diabetes your next stage is type 2 diabetes if you've got type 2 diabetes your next stage could be serious complications and even loss of life so that is how important for you it is to rebuild your blood sugar levels and rebuild your health your hormones your body your weight in a completely new way so if you're wondering how you can put it all into practice we've created a special free online masterclass that will show you the five steps our clients are using in order to reverse hormonal imbalances drop pounds of excess weight on average 20 pounds in 60 days completely naturally eating all the carbs they care for and also, of course, create healthy blood sugar levels, glowing skin, high energy levels. So you can register for it. You'll see the link for that. And also go to our description section and grab a, grab a spot there. And if you want to work with us personally, we'll also drop a link in the description section. Thank you so much Thanks for joining for us everyone. Yeah. for this video. And since we've talked about our client, Judy, and how she reversed her diabetes, let's go on to the next video and we'll see you then.